there, I'm here at Everhot uh, cooking today some of my recipes. First up, I'm going to cook a kleftiko lamb shoulder, which is a Greek Cypriot recipe. Slow cooked lamb with garlic, coriander seeds, oregano, cinnamon, lemon, a bit of red wine, olive oil. I'm going to cook it hard for about 20 minutes at 220. I'm going to pop it in the slow oven about 150 for three to four hours until soft and melting tender. I've right, got some garlic. We've got some coriander seeds. It's a marinade, so you can't really go wrong. Some salt. Just give that a go. So I've got about 1.5 kilos of shoulder of lamb with the bone on, four garlic cloves, teaspoon of salt. Big pinch of cinnamon. Some lemon. You can't really go wrong with just put as much as you need to make it nice and flavoursome. So I'm doing two lemons. Good glug of red wine, about a glass. You're going to cook the lamb with this marinade so nothing goes to waste. Some olive oil, three or four tablespoons, plenty of black pepper. You're going to want to marinate this for at least four hours or overnight, eight hours is fine too. So give that a good turn. Right, into the fridge, four hours, up to eight hours overnight is fine too. The longer the better. Okay, we've got our lamb which has been marinated beautifully for about four hours. We're just going straight into the pan. And all this lovely marinade going into it. And about a cup of water. Right, we're going to get our lamb from the top oven to the bottom oven. It's been in for 20 minutes and now we're going to pop it in the slow oven for about three to four hours. So our lamb's been in the oven for an hour and a half in the slow oven. I've got some waxy peeled potatoes here. I'm just going to cut them up like this. And going to add these to the pot to cook with the lamb in, in all the marinade and the juices. I've got some plum tomatoes here. I don't want to use the juice. I don't want to make a tomato stew. I just want to have, I'm just going to use a two of the plum tomatoes whole just to pop in with the juices and the potatoes just to get that flavour going. But use the tin for another use. Don't throw it away obviously. Smelling pretty good. You can use a fresh tomato if you'd, if you'd like to, but it's winter, so we haven't got any fresh. I'm just going to pop just three whole plum tomatoes in there and all these potatoes. Back on with the lid. And this is going to go back into the slow oven for another hour and a half. So it's been in the oven for 45 minutes with the potatoes. The potatoes are soft and melting and tender. And we're going to put this back in the hot oven now for about 20 minutes just to get some good bit of colour onto the top of the lamb. You don't have to do this stage. You can just take the lamb out now and rest it. 
but I like to get a bit of a sizzle on the skin. So 20 minutes back in the hot oven. Right, we've given an extra 20 minutes in the oven just to get some crackle, well, sort of browned meat really. And it looks pretty delicious, but very, very hot. Right, as with most sort of meat cooking, you would want this to rest for at least 10 minutes just to relax and get acquainted with everything and for the flavours to meld. So I would serve this sort of warm, never piping hot. The potatoes are perfect and soft. They're like fondant potatoes. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit of extra fresh lemon just to keep everything bright. And I'm just gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes to relax. Right, so our meat has rested for a good 10 minutes, I'd say. You've got these lovely waxy potatoes that are sort of fudgy fondant potatoes. Definitely spoon some of that onto the plate. The odd tomato doesn't hurt either. The meats, you don't really even need to carve it really. It's so tender. So this is Kleftico, a Cypriot dish of goat, of goat or lamb shoulder. I've done lamb with potatoes, tomatoes, coriander seeds, lemon, red wine, olive oil, and a bit of cinnamon and coriander seeds. It's just a lovely fragrance that's coming off this. It's a really easy one-pot roast lunch. Mm -hmm.